Good afternoon. Welcome to Monday's World of Weather. You clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for May 26th through June 7th. May 26th through the 30th, we have negative height anomalies here, and we also have negative height anomalies here. And these negative height anomalies are forecast to weaken, and the anomalies here will persist, and they persist well into the next period and everything. And then we also have here, I don't know if you can see this, this extends back to Europe. Now, these two anomalies kind of um, teleconnect with a um, ridge along the eastern, U the eastern coast of the U.S. And uh, another feature is a cutoff flow tracking through the Great Basin on Saturday is expected to drift slowly east-northeast across the Rockies through early next week before likely being absorbed by the westerlies across the northern U.S. The westerlies are, are pretty much across this area here. This is where we get caught up in the westerlies. Okay, now... Um, Let me see, what can I, um, okay, we're going to look here. All right, I'm watching an area of low pressure in the Gulf of Mexico. The National Hurricane Center uh, expects the system to develop into subtropical or tropical depression this weekend over the eastern and central eastern Gulf of Mexico. But regardless of this track of the develop, the low takes, portions of the Gulf and the southeast will have the potential for uh, heavy rainfall beginning this week and persistent into the middle of next week. So um, this is the height anomalies here. So this is the European deterministics. And we're looking at the system here. It's not very well organized. And then we get to the weekend. See, so it starts moving into the Gulf. And here we into next week. And then now this is the GFS. This is the rainfall amounts. I mean, this is the, um, the uh, mean surface pressures. I'm going to show you the rainfall amounts later. Seems like it's a little bit stronger here. It's more bullish on it. And then it tracks it across Florida. And then it also comes here, kind of tracks on the eastern side of the trough. Now, if um, there's a couple solutions, the European and the Canadian are preferred at this time. Much of the Gulf Coast, the lower Mississippi Valley, and the southeast could see a potential for heavier rains. And the heaviest rains are forecast near the mouth of the Mississippi River. And then if this scenario works out here, uh, heavy rains could be much further to the east with a significant reduction in heavy rainfall threat for much of the Gulf Coast. This scenario will also, um, would also potentially direct uh, transport of higher moisture content into the Mid-Atlantic. Now I'm going to show you the rainfall amounts. Okay, this is European deterministics. Watching down here. Okay, now we're at Friday morning, 2 a.m. Then we're at Friday night, 8 a.m. Look at these rainfall amounts. You compare them to the charts here. And then we come to Saturday, 8 p.m. Now we're at Sunday, 8 p.m. Now we're at Monday, 8 a.m. Tuesday, 2 a.m. So this is European. Now we're going to take a look at the GFS. Okay, this is Thursday, tomorrow morning, 8 a.m.
Now we're at Friday, 2 p.m. And then the GFS, this is Sunday, 2 a.m., brings the rain, the heaviest rains here. And this is, looks like uh, possibly as much as um, you have the lighter blues, the darker blues, maybe 8 to 10 inches across this area here. So this is an area to be watched. It's, it's not very well defined at the moment. And um, the National Hurricane Center's forecast put another bulletin out um, at 8 p.m. tonight. Okay, um, an upper low cross in the west should produce locally heavy rain across the Great Basins, of course, of the northern Rockies, and energy tracking across the Great Lakes and the northeast Saturday through, through Monday could bring showers and storms to that area. May 29th, June 2nd. Here we are at May 29th. The pattern remains generally unchanged. The dominant features will be this ridge here. And we also have these negative height anomalies here. And we have a positive height anomalies across much of the nation. So um, we're going to go forward in time. Come to the second. We don't see much of a change. You see these, positive, these negative height anomalies weaken. And we take a look at the rest of the models. The shown tendency of a weak trough here in the Gulf. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures for the country. Forecast anomalies be near four degrees above normal and for precipitation. Call for below near to below normal precipitation here and here. And the uh, probability of occurrence is 40% and I have above normal precipitation here and for this region and the probability of occurrence is 45 to 55% June 3rd to the 7th now um, we have above normal heights across much of the US and Canada during this period and some models maintain the negative height anomalies here Kind of like it starts out here, but kind of remains across this area here, across eastern Canada, maybe parts of the northeast, the mid Atlantic. But then as we go through time, you start seeing this. Now we have above normal heights here, relatively almost zone of flow. Still a tendency of a weak trough down here. And we go to the 6th, I mean, this is the 7th at 2 a.m. You can see the pattern. Now we look at the rest of the models. See how the trough is kind of situated here. And this, is, I think, is European. Yeah, European ensembles. So I think this is the solution that's going to work out. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting. Oh, let me get my map back. I'm forecasting again above normal temperatures for much of the nation with the numbers of 48 degrees above normal and I'm forecasting little change in the precipitation anomalies. So that is a long range weather forecast discussion for May 26th through June 7th. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.